Hi, it's Tony from JimBunnyMummy.com and I've got a little cake decorating tutorial for you today. Um, I'm going to show you how I uh, crumb coat and cover a cake in fondant icing. So for my buttercream mix, um, some people who don't really, um, you know, starting out beginners and things, might make the buttercream out of margarine, but um, no, don't do that. Um, you have to make sure it's out of butter, otherwise it's not going to set. You need um, a firm base for your fondant, otherwise it's just going to move and get bumpy and you've got no chance of getting a decent coverage. So my buttercream is normally um, half the amount of butter to the icing sugar. So I generally just use a 250 block of butter and then use 500 grams of icing sugar um, and that should do you plenty. Um, if it needs me... Um, not mixing, if it needs loosening up a little bit, add a little bit of milk um, and pop in a little bit of like vanilla essence or lemon essence or anything um, if you want to mix up the flavour a little bit. So first off I always use my, I'm not even sure how you do this, what you call this, cake leveller. Um, I use that on a flat surface to level the cakes rather than using a knife. Um, let me show you this. Um, it just basically means that you get the exact level rather than if you're doing it by hand might get a little bit wonky. Um, so the way I'm going to show you is the way that I've done it for about five years. Um, I'm not professionally trained, um, I've just done everything sort of self-taught um, and learned by mistakes along the way. So the way that I do it is the way that I've done it for years and the way that works best for me. So hopefully it should work for you too. So yeah, I've levelled the cake, I've popped a little bit of jam on. For this one, there's not going to be any buttercream inside. Um, they don't want it inside, they just want it on the outside. So I've got my buttercream mix. And then um, I just use my palette knife and get started. Um, I've seen some videos and some people online that use a piping bag. But to be honest, it just is an extra step that I don't think you need. So obviously clean hands, everything sorted. I was put my hands on the top just to keep it <coughs> secure um, and then just pop it on. Um, at this stage you don't even need to worry about whether it's going on smooth or not because we're going to take it back off and smooth it out again. So just make sure the whole cake is covered right to the top and then I sort of always work from the outside in on the top just to make sure that I'm getting the edge. So. Like I said, this is just, it's just my method, the way that always works best for me. So you can see that it's nowhere near smooth, doesn't need to be yet, so don't worry too much about that. Move that out of the way. Now it would help if I had my smoother to hand. So this one is just, it's just a metal um, cake smoother um, and just hold it, make sure you sort of hold it against the board so I'm using just a silver cake board here for the cake so hold it against and just drag it round make sure you're holding it down so you've got that flat edge wipe the excess off and just go up again so you can see I'm actually taking quite a bit off um, this is just the easiest way I find it to work put it on take it off and go again from the top outside in making sure you've got a clean edge I don't worry you can see around the edges it's gone around the sides not a problem drag it round again straighten it up it's fine and again just drag it back to the middle so there you go this is layer one um, again it doesn't have to be exactly exactly smooth what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the layers so now I'm going to pop it in the fridge let it chill for just a little bit for an hour or so because um, what I do is do a layer let it chill do another layer I generally do three layers you've got a nice good firm base then to add the fondant onto so you're going to get a really really smooth finish um, best way that I find it works for me so I'll pop this in the fridge and then I shall do the next layer as soon as it's set so this is now set, you can tell because when you touch it, so obviously uh, nothing comes on your hands, so it's ready for the second coat now. So I'm just going to pop 
some more buttercream on, put it back in the fridge. <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear that in the background, gummy bear, that's the little one. He's, uh, he's upstairs dancing to gummy bear. We're a bit of a YouTube family. So yeah, just moving it on. Make sure the whole of the cake's covered top to bottom. Again, don't worry about whether it's smooth or not at this time. Um, just a little tip, what I do is I hold the bottom of the knife against the cake board. Um, this means that you're sort of getting a bit more of a, of a straight edge so it's not going on too thick on one side. And we need a bit more on top. I can, I can hear him upstairs, bless him. If you can't hear me, then you probably think I'm a little bit mad, but never mind. So, scraper again. Take the second lot off. So you can see now that it's sort of building a good coverage now. We've got a nice, nice coverage and we're building a nice smooth cake. Again, top to the middle. Scrape it off. Top to the middle. And just have a little look at it. Again, you're not a plasterer, doesn't have to be exact because we're working on the level. So let me just show you this now. So you can see we're starting to build a good coverage and we've got a good layer on there now. So this can go back in the fridge um, and then we'll pop the third layer on when that's set. So I'm doing the third and final coat now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So this time it's not going to go back in the fridge. This one is to basically glue the fondant on. Oh, there we go. Little and shouting. We'll just finish putting this on and then I'll go see what the fuss is about. I'm coming. And I'm back. So we we'll pop bit of this on top so this lay is actually going to be one of the thinnest ones where's my scraper get this out of the way um, so you have smooth it off again so we only want a little bit of this layer remaining um, like I said this is essentially going to be the glue that's going to stick the fondant on so we've got a nice smooth base underneath this is nice and hard um, because it's been in the fridge so that'll give us a solid paste to work on so once we put the fondant on top we're not going to have any bumps or ridges or anything so it's going to go on a lot smoother and a lot easier than if we hadn't filled it so let me get this out of the way and then we'll get the fondant on. So I've rolled my pink fondant out. I've got it draped over the rolling pin. And I'm just going to gently hover over and place it on top of the cake. So now that's on there, I'm gonna start by smoothing off the top. So I've got my plastic smoother. So I'll just start by smoothing the top of it up and then I'm gonna start from the top downwards. So what I'm gonna do is just this edge bit first, just to make sure that I've got no little air bubbles trapped up. So I'm just going over the top and slightly down the side and then gradually just moving further down. So if it starts to sort of crease or wrinkle up, just lift it ever so slightly and smooth back down again. So bit by bit, 
smooth it down, smooth it down. I know a lot of people do this with a smoother, but I uh, prefer to do it with my hands first of all. And then once I know I've got the air bubbles out, I'll grab my smoother again and move down. So it's just bit by bit, pushing it down, pushing it down and making sure you're sort of hitting the cake board with it so you've got no edges. I'm going to grab my knife and trim off the excess. So I'm doing this just sort of cup about maybe a half a centimetre away from the edge of the cake um, and then I'll go in a bit tighter. So I'll remove the excess and then I just like to go in again with this side is this side slightly curved, this side straight so I like to go with the straight edge and just pat it down a little bit more just to make sure I've got right into that edge so then now I can take the knife and just cut off that trim because we've gone right into the edge you've got a clear line where you know where to cut into now and just take it bit by bit There's my edging, and then I'll just take it again just once more time and just smooth again around these edges. And there we go, we have one nice and smooth covered cake, easy peasy, job done.